this year has certainly been different. We're hauling grain this year and you pull in there and a little bit the same, but then they pull you off the side to run the VOM test. What goes into testing corn for vomitoxin? Here's a little bit of what it takes. When you pull in, it's much like every other year. They're gonna to try to get a good random sample out of the load. When they get the sample, they're gonna test the corn for moisture and they're gonna test it for test weight. Once they get the sample, they're gonna separate it to even smaller, evenly distributed samples. This here is a divider. It'll split the sample. So that's their divided out sample. Then they're gonna weigh out about 50 grams. This sample will be used in the vomitoxin test. Once they get the size of sample they need, they will take this sample and grind it into a coarse powder. The coarse powder is then placed in a specialized filter bag. See, it's got a screen in there. See the screen? Then a buffer bag, which is a packet of chemical, is placed in the filter bag along with the ground corn. They then add a specific amount of distilled water to the bag. The next step takes a little bit of time. The mixture is shook up for about two minutes to dissolve that buffer packet. Then the mixture has to rest for an additional two minutes. You then take a very small sample of the fluid for testing. You take 50 microliters, which is five one hundredths of a milliliter. You place it in the mixing container. Then you add a dilution solution to the container, snap it up, and shake it again. Basically what we're doing is we're diluting it with this dilution stuff. So we're sticking that in there. And we'll shake it. Now we have a solution that's ready for testing. A microcell container is placed in the incubation chamber. Then we take 100 microliters of the previous solution and add it into the microcell. This solution is mixed with another chemical to produce a chemical reaction. A test strip is added to the incubation chamber. This chamber is closed and it incubates for three minutes. After three minutes, the test strip is removed and verified that the test was run properly. The test strip is placed in the reader. The test barcode is inputted and the correct test is selected. The reader analyzes the sample and gives us a vomitoxin part per million results. In this test, our results came up 3.91 parts per million.